you there, Davey? Hey, Scott, how's it going? How are we doing, son? Are we OK? Hey, hey, I want to speak about these security guards, by the way. Yes. I think they're absolutely useless, by the way. What, what, what good are they, Scott? Are you tell me? Well, they're there to provide security, for goodness sake. Right, get your telephones, folk. We're extremely busy tonight. And uh, main subject, should we ban British subjects from holidaying abroad until we get our own tourist economy back on track? I think it's time to say enough is enough. So there you are. Tell us what you think about that. Two telephone numbers of, and reveal them as and when it suits me. How about now? If you're telephoning from and the rest of the UK, and we're talking to Karen on two. Hello, Karen. Hello there, Scotty. Hello, darling. How are you? I'm very well, are you? Are you telephoning from Stoke and Trent? That's right. Oh, yeah. that's lovely, that is. Oh, it's that'll great be, county. That'll be gorgeous when it's finished, love. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They dropped a bomb on Stoke, and it cost two thousand pounds worth of improvement. <laughs> now that's very naughty. You and <laughs> yeah. I know that Stoke's a lovely place. Yeah, it is. And, really and really we like we place. like the Stokies. Yeah, Stokies are wicked. <laughs> the Stokies are wicked. Yeah, I, but I've always wanted to visit Scotland. Yes. And and tomorrow I'm coming for the weekend and I can't wait, Scotty. Oh, you must, darling. You'll absolutely love it. Oh, I can't wait. I, can't, I really, really can't wait. I'm like a little kitty. Absolutely. <laughs> what part are you hoping to visit, love? Um, just over the border, somewhere called Newcastleton. Newcastleton, uh, love, yes. and in, in, uh, yes. Roxburghshire. Roxburghshire, that's uh, yeah. right. It's that's just it. a bit north of Carlisle. That's right, yeah. Oh, it's very can't nice, wait. love. A it's lovely a little village. A lovely little village. Have you been before? No, no, I've never been to Scotland. Oh, you'll love it, darling. It's a, it's a, it's a very pleasant little village, Newcastleton, all laid out in a square. Oh, I can't wait. I can't. Oh, you'll love it. You'll love it, darling. I hope the weather's nice and warm for you. It's just about yeah. on the turn, you know. Yeah. It's beginning to heat up a bit today. Oh, great. Yes, great. Not, not very much, mind you, but <laughs> just a little bit. Well, I'll bring some warm clothes and I'll bring some oh, funny clothes. Bring warm well. clothes, love. Lots of big. Have you got a big jumper? I have got a big jumper. You'll yeah. bring your big jumper and your body warmer and all that. <laughs> you'll, be, you'll be warm as toast. <laughs> yeah, and a nice warm woolly hat. Yeah, I'll have a nice woolly hat. Okay, will do. Yes, for Newcastle. Oh, great. Thank you, darling. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Right, you're listening to Scotty McClue's National Megaphone in right across the UK. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. Get to your telephones if you want a chance of getting on to the country's only proper radio phone-in program where we talk. Now, uh, we're talking to, I think it's Colin the Trucker. Is that you, son? Ah, thanks, Colin. Thank you, dude. Thank you, dude. How you doing? Thank you, dude. You're right, stop, my dude. Where are you tonight, China? Hey, I'm, I'm heading in a, a wee place called Johnson. Johnson? Yeah. Oh, very nice. Say hey, that'll yeah, suit you there. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I went into the estate agents in Johnson and I said, uh, I'm looking for a house. He says, How much you're prepared to spend? This is 10 grand. This is how many you want. <laughs> How are you? I'm doing away, my man. Doing you're doing all right. You're doing all right. You'd be glad to get finished, eh? No, oh, I'm, I'm night shift. I'm constant. Constant night, night shift. I know. I just to, it saves you I having don't... to socialise with anybody. I know. I don't like anybody anyway. <laughs> <laughs> That's the stuff. That's right. Yes, absolutely. Did you ever see the film Brassed Off? No. 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 She comes out. She comes out. He comes in. She goes out. That's what I mean. Huh? He does. He does night shift in the mines, and and she goes out during the. She must go out to clean or something like that. And what he goes, <laughs> and all they say to each other is, "Hello, love." <laughs> <laughs> That's like me and her. This is Scotty. I want to talk about this holiday in Britain. Yes. If they wouldn't have us off in there, I wouldn't have mind too much. I'll, t- I'll tell you for why. You know I'm a, I'm a trucker. I'm a of course you are. Of course you are. It's no secret. It's no secret. It's all this. See all it this. got out. It got out. Somebody blabbed. Yeah. <laughs> somebody <laughs> somebody <laughs> quiped me. Was that, somebody <laughs> let cut out bag. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what? I'll tell you that, Scotty. They're not taking five of that. I'm going to take Scottish money. I'm going to take Scottish Well, no, they do, but they hold it up to the light and all that. So what I do when they give me back the English money, I start holding it up to the light, including Aye. the pound coins. Aye. And I go, what are you doing? I say, I'm just seeing if this is genuine. He says, but Aye. you don't get any light through it. I says, well, I didn't know that's what you're looking Aye. for. Listen, I, I like flagging English, and I, I think it because, I mean, as long as they flag me, and it's on a joke, I'll tell you, I've had brilliant holidays in Scabby, brah. Scabby, brah? Have you ever been to Skeggy? Skeggy, I've not been to Skeggy. Oh, get yourself to Skeggy, it's brilliant. I've been doing a a Blackpool a few times, loved it. Yes. See, yes. But you see, Scotty, I laugh because people say, oh, Blackpool's a really dear. It's somewhere dear as you want it to be. I'll tell you, what about Bridlington? Bridlington. Yes. Passed through it, but I've no, uh, I've no Oh, you can get out of Bridlington there. That's fantastic. Uh, okay, I like. I, I like. You mean you pass through? Why would you pass through Bridlington? Where are you I off to? The North Sea or something. I've been doing <laughs> that way before. I'd pass, so for some reason. I don't know why you pass through Bridlington. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what's, what's going on, I, I'm saying all this and I'm going to Florida in the summer. That's dreadful. But, but, Have but you, are you a man with no shame? But, but, I'm, I'm Our own tourist industry on his knees and you're going to I'm going to I'm going a week down to Scabby, bro. Aye, not so bad. But, eh... Uh, what uh, about going to go get yourself to Rothsey for a month? Rothsey? Oh, I used to love it over there. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful over there, by the way. Get yourself so, there for a month. The only, the, only bad view, the only bad thing about it is the view of Port Vesgate. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have a way now before we get in trouble. <laughs> it's great. Thank you, dude. Oh, thank you, dude, China. You take care. Oh, yeah, you it's good. Give me a tune that hang later on for the trucker. I'll give you a wee tune and keep on trucking. <laughs> Hello, my man. Cheery bye, China. Cheery bye. Cheery bye now. Harry Karaoke from Charlton Kamar, eh? Gotcha. How are you, my man? How are you, my friend? Are we all right? Oh, uh, I love it. When, when you get onto the subject of women, I love it. Absolutely, Harry Karaoke. You are a, you are a ladies' man. Well, I, I used to be, Scotty, but oh. I've got off them a bit because, oh. you know, I think they're giving us fellas a bad deal now. They're giving you a bit of a bad deal. I think so. Mm. I mean, my missy won't make real gravy unless they take her on holiday. That's dreadful, that is. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> now, you know the women are getting bigger, the, you know, the average size now is size 16. Yes. You know, I mean, they've got these microwaves. Yes. They've got dishwashers, washing machines, you oh, know. they've got everything, Harry. I mean, even even the marriage vows has gone out the window now. It's all contractual now. They sign well, contracts. You want to bring all that back, I well, think. Well, this is it, you see. We need to get I would sign a contract market. that says that the woman's not entitled to anything if she pulls out. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's the stuff. I mean, I mean, it won't be just long. Just sign there, love. Just so you know, you don't get anything if you don't deliver. I mean, I think it won't be long now before it'll be. A, uh, you'll have contractual 
love making. You know, you'll have to sign a, a contract. You know, well, I, I've actually advocated that for a long time. Paperwork, you know, and then there's no way you could ever be accused of, uh, you know, put, pressing well, your suit. Well, that's right. That's right, because, I mean... Pushing, then pushing you, your luck. Because we get blamed for a lot of things, as fellas, you know. Yes, you know, yes. And, and we're only trying to please them after all, aren't Absolutely. We? We're only trying to give them a good time. You know, and, you know, I mean... Hey, I'll tell you what. Do you know last, you know last night, because you're on your programme? Yes. You, you were talking about the poll tax, you know, and nobody ever came up with this. Do you know, the poll tax was started two years ago, before us, in Scotland. Yes, that's right. Right, and they scratched it because you had never paid it. We didn't. We said no. <laughs> you remember it? <laughs> <laughs> you have politics by consent in Scotland. Well, this is it. I mean, I, I, I was, I'll see what they, what they do up there because you're like two years advance of us, aren't you? So Absolutely. I want to see where they're going with all these women. Like, you know, I, I like to know the views on these women as to what we should do. You know, to try and get things back to normal because you yes. know, I mean. They're getting out of hand, Scotty. Well, the politicians don't tell us what to do. We tell them what they can do. Well, this is it. You know what I mean? We're, we're looking for you for that, you know, that you lot down there to show us an example. Absolutely. And by Jove, can we show you an example? Well, you know, I mean... I mean, they sent you Scotty McClure, didn't they? Well, that's right. Well, well, we, well we can't, we can't, you know, I mean... You can't grumble. You, you can't, can't, you down here now, you can't grumble at that, Harry Carey, OK? Well, well, you know, I don't know, I'll tell you what, do you know what I did last night? Scotty? A given, a given. Do you remember, I was going to ask you last night and I forgot, do you remember, he had a chap on, phone you up one day, mm. uh, and he phoned up, and he, he hadn't been out of the outfit for, for two years because he was frightened of going out. Yeah, that's right. And even the, um, he had a, a, a old male person coming in, he, and he was that frightened, he wouldn't even let her in. That's and right. he, 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 was, he was listening to your radio, and he got up the courage to phone you. That was the only outside contact he had with the world. Do you that's remember right. that? I do, I do. I you ever know what happened to him, Scotty? Because, uh, I mean, you, you spoke to him for a long time, and he really helped him out. I, I, I don't know, I that. don't know whether he went out or not. I think it was his name, Robert. Yes, it was actually Robert. That's right, he, he used to phone from the, the East Midlands. That's right, yeah. yes. I Robert. often wondered what happened to him, because I know you spent a lot of time with that guy, you know. We did, we spent a good bit of time, and I think we got him out. We had another lady that used to take panic attacks, and we got her to go out for business. Biscuits. Oh, right. Right, you know, just nip round the corner for biscuits, you know, just if we can improve the quality of your life, Harry, you know. Well, I, I thought that was a marvellous thing, that's got because that, that, that's, you know, when I, when I listen to you, that's when I sort of caught, caught on to your show, because I, I just tuned in, I was listening to that, and uh, I was, you know, I really thought, you know, this guy's good, you know what I mean, he, you know, he does care about people, you know what I mean? Oh, you've got to look after the nation, Harry. Well, this is it, you know, we're trying to look at, I mean, I'm trying to look after all these women, Scotty, but... I'm t I want to get some advice on it, you know, because we're, I'm we're, sure I must be doing something wrong or something. We encourage the weak and stand on the strong. <laughs> 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 That's what to do. Listen, I better let you go. Lovely to talk to you. All right. You're That's a great guy. And tell it. everyone in the North West. Jonathan, if he's listening, I'll get him an Easter egg on Monday. I should think so and all. <laughs> hey, <laughs> have our beast and dinky do, Harry. Dinky do, sir. See you now. Join us tomorrow night. Of course, we're on all through the holiday, Good Friday and Easter Monday. Right, sir. Hey, dinky do. Dinky do. Dinky do, sir. Normal service, of course. Scotty McClure specials on Good Friday and Easter Monday. So there you are. Make sure you join us then. Telephone numbers once again. Big man. Oh, love you! Hey, love you, dear! What's all this trick you're talking about? Name, you don't make any sense at all. Now you do, love you! <laughs> you should be tearing off, love you! You talk one load of shag, day. You don't even know nothing! There's people on here that know me up made about the public, and you do, you just don't me a mouth and let you barely rumble, love you! <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to say about that then? Nothing. Hello. Uh, hello, Scotty. Uh, uh, hello, How Gavin. How are we? All right. What can I do for you, China? Uh, I just hit uh, the junkies. Aye, it's terrible. I know a junkie. It's got four wings. Oh. Hello. Aye, it's terrible. Terrible. Yeah. Absolutely. Hello, Peter. Hello. Hello. How are you? Not bad. How are you? I'm fine, mate. Good. Good. I'll tell you what I'm phoning for. Yes. It's about this. You're talking about holidays. Holidays. Aye, for the past two years I've been going abroad and I'm going abroad twice this year as well and to be honest with you, I wouldn't want to go anywhere in Britain for my holiday. Well, I think we should ban people from going abroad, to be honest with you, Peter. I oh, think we should ban it because... Give me your reasons. Well, our own economy, our own tourist economy needs us to spend our money here and have a holiday here. But now, I, 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 I had a lovely day today. I actually I went to Moffat. Oh, very nice. Very nice. So there the yarn had some Moffat toffee and right. had a fantastic time. Right, so tell me something. What makes Britain so exciting if you compare that just, to going it, to Disney World? Just just a gorgeous place. Hold on a minute, hold on a minute. Yes. Or going to somewhere like Disney World, or going somewhere uh, nice, 
Sonny Sandy Beaches. Well, you know, how, can you, how can you compare somewhere like that? Well, I'm sorry, but it doesn't matter. It's not a question of comparing. It's the fact that we need to build up our own tourist industry in this country, and we have to say to the Brits, I'm sorry, chums, but you're staying at home for the next two years. Well, I'll, so we'll get back in our feet. To sneak out somehow. No, you wouldn't it's sneak out. We place, wouldn't just take the passports. It's freezing cold. It's always raining. It's yeah, but warm. it's always been like that. I mean, if you don't I like it, why not? I mean, what, well, well, that's why we need to say to people, look, are you in or are you out? One thing or the other. Hands up those that are staying, hands up those that are going. If you're going, go now. The rest of you stay and let's make a job of this place. Well, I suppose it's just whatever type of holiday you're wanting into. If you want to stay here and eat Moffat toffee, then that's up to you. But I would rather go somewhere and get a nice suntan. Well, enjoy myself, I'll have a nice relaxing time, lying in the beach. Uh, do, you you know mean, I mean? do you mean stuck at some airport for hours and hours no, and no, hours and hours? No, no, lying on the beach, I say, it's no stuck in the airport. Aye, uh, most of your holidays, your fun holidays mean stuck in an airport. No, no, I'll, I'll tell you what, see your holidays I've been I've only, I've only been stuck in an airport once, and it was for two hours, and that was it. Well, I think, I think we want to put a ban on people going abroad, because I think it is people letting you're their own country down. You're running noise up now, aren't you? Eh? You're running noise up now, aren't you? No, certainly not, I mean, that's, oh, that's what I think we should be doing. It's just about a complete and utter ban. I'll tell you what, we'll put in a challenge here now. Go on. Right, MDLs who agrees with me can phone in tonight. Right. All right. And anyone that and disagrees with you, you, I'll give you, I'll give you a challenge, right? Right. Anyone that disagrees with you can phone in at all. Right, okay. okay. We'll, and we'll wait up at the end. And we'll wait up at the end, and I'll bet you a pound to a penny I win. Right. Okay, you've got a bet, pal. So then, yeah, because I mean, not everybody, not right? everybody gets fooled by a lot of, you know, unreliable hotels and a wee bit of sunshine and all the rest of it and right. high prices abroad and what have you. This uh -huh. is quality stuff. This country, it's got a lot to offer. We've got Rothsey, we've got Weems Bay, we've got Blackpool, we've got Gurick, we've got right. Lytham. Okay, okay. Yeah, we've got right. Skegness, Scarborough. Do you know, right. we've all these. We've got. We've got. We've got Alton Towers. Right, okay, so that's the know? challenge then. We're going to see how many people phone in. We've got Brighton. They prefer to go abroad to a nice sunny place or stay here. Bournemouth. Yes. All right. Yes, and there's like everything challenge. here. A challenge, we've got a challenge, and I'll bet you everyone will support McLeod. Right, we'll see. We'll see by I the end of the night. I'm going to vote for McLeod or for Campbell. Eh? Either, either going to phone in and vote for McLeod or vote for Campbell. I absolutely there. It was right. actually McDonald's. I'll tell you what, it was actually McDonald's, no McLeod. When are we going to have the result? It was, result, it was McDonald's. Time? We'll have the result, uh, we'll have the result by before 11 o'clock. Right, okay. Guys. Okay. I've got to go away, but I'll switch my video back on again at half ten. Absolutely. And see All what right. the score is, okay. Oh, well, listen, can, how can you go away and not listen to McClure? Well, I've got to actually go away in the I and I've got to go and see some people. About well, can you take time. your tranny with you? I can't, mate. No, I've got to leave it in my motor, I'm afraid. Ah, oh, for heaven's sake. Right, okay, fair enough, but I'll tell right. you, you watch this. I'll be, I'll be winning this. Ah, uh, I don't think so. Campbell will come out triumphant. Ah, it's no McLeod anyway, it was McDonald. Ah, I know. Kill uh, you and all. <laughs> very good. Speak to you later, Scotty. What do you mean, take your shoes off? Ah, you're right. <laughs> I'll yeah, see you, China. Cheerio, bye. Right, cheerio. <laughs> cheerio. <laughs> right, thank you.